Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aaron Sheldrick. I work for Reuters. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondence Club of Japan. Our speaker today is Yukia Amano, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency. The IAEA is a body that's had its work cut out for it in the last three years since the Fukushima calamity, with multiple missions to the site of the wrecked nuclear plant north of Tokyo, and many reports compiled. The agency is also heavily involved in the discussions over Iran's disputed nuclear program. Um, please welcome Mr. Amano to speak about these and other issues in the nuclear industry globally. Uh, I'll just quickly say, though, please turn off your mobile phones and other devices. Thank you very much. Amano san. Sorry, uh, Amana san will make some brief remarks and then we'll open it up to questioning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The last time I had the pleasure of speaking to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan was in December 2010. I had been Director General of the IAEA for just one month at that time. Three months later from that statement came the Fukushima Daiichi accident. It was, of course, triggered by a powerful tsunami which followed on the Great East Japan earthquake. But human and organizational failings also played an important part. Helping Japan deal with the aftermath of the accident has been a top priority for the IAEA and for me personally in the past three years. As nuclear safety, is a highly important issue, both in Japan and throughout the world. I will begin my remarks today by talking about the impact of the accident. The situation at the site remains complex, and challenging issues must be resolved to ensure the plant's long-term stability. Many people in the affected region are still living with uh, the consequences of the accident. The IAEA has worked very closely with Japan. We help to channel international technical assistance. Our international expert teams assisted in areas such as um, radiological monitoring and food safety. We organized numerous expert meetings examining every relevant technical aspect of nuclear safety. The latest international experts meeting, which is on severe accident management in the light of the Fukushima Daiichi accident, starts in Vienna just today. We have been working with our 162 member states to implement the IAEA action plan on nuclear safety, which was adopted soon after the Fukushima accident. Just recently, final reports of our international review missions on decommissioning and on remediation of large contaminated off-site areas were made public. Both missions observed good progress in their respective areas and made recommendations. The IAEA is preparing a report on the Fukushima Daiichi accident, which will be finalized by the end of this year and shared with the member states next year. I welcome the way in which Japan is sharing its post Fukushima experience with the rest of the world. I encourage all the states to make full use of IAEA services in order to help raise the levels of safety everywhere. I am often asked if nuclear power is safe. This is a difficult question. My answer is that no technology is ever 100% safe. 
nuclear is no exception. But I believe the lessons of Fukushima Daiichi have been learned both in Japan and internationally. Additional concrete measures, such as higher tsunami protection walls and diversified supplies of backup electricity, as well as for water for cooling, have been put in place. The concept of defense in depth, which involves multi-layered protection and mitigation measures, is being more thoroughly applied. In my capacity, I visit many countries, usually 20 to 30 countries a year, and whenever, wherever I go, I, I try to visit the research in, uh, institutes and nuclear power plants. And I'm very much interested in uh, seeing uh, the differences before and after Fukushima. And I see lots of improvements. I believe safety levels at nuclear facilities around the world are now higher uh, than uh, they have been before. But we must never be complacent. Complacency is the enemy of safety. Please bear in mind that nuclear safety has always been uh, the responsibility of each individual country. It continues uh, to be so. The IAEA does not have uh, the same authority in nuclear safety as we do in nuclear non-proliferation, for example. Nevertheless, the global response uh, to Fukushima Daiichi accident reflects a deeper realization that nuclear safety is an issue uh, that transcends borders. One country's accident is every country's accident. Effective international cooperation and, and the assistance of international organizations are therefore vital. The IAEA is playing a leading role in sharing a safer nuclear future throughout the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after the Chernobyl accident in 1986, nuclear power entered a period of stagnation. That did not happen after Fukushima Daiichi accident. There were 437 nuclear power reactors in operation throughout the world last year, 437. 72 new ones are under construction, the largest number for 25 years. Growth is centered mainly in Asia, China, India, uh, but countries in other regions, including Eastern Europe, also have significant expansion plans. It is clear uh, that many countries expect nuclear power to be, in, to be an important part of their energy mix for decades to come. They believe nuclear power can help them achieve energy security, boost their economic competitiveness, and help to mitigate the effects of climate change. The IAEA does not attempt to influence the decision of countries on whether or not to use nuclear power. It is up to the decision of each sovereign state. But when requested, uh, we provide comprehensive assistance to help ensure that nuclear power is um, used safely, securely, and without increasing uh, the, the proliferation risks. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, mention briefly that the IAEA's role in nuclear security, I mean, I now talk about nuclear security, is growing steadily in response uh, to requests uh, from member states. Nuclear security is about ensuring that uh, nuclear and other radioactive material, as well as nuclear facilities, are properly protected from malicious actions. You can imagine how devastating uh, the consequences could be if a so-called dirty bomb involving conventional explosives and radioactive material was detonated in a major city. The IAEA plays a central role in strengthening nuclear security globally. Our work covers a broad range of activities from providing nuclear security guidance and supplying radiation detection equipment for countries to use at uh, ports and airports to helping uh, to protect major public events against nuclear terrorism. We are ready to, uh, to assist Japan in ensuring radiological security at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo if they request us to do so. Japan has expressed intention to invite an IAEA International Physical Protection Advisory Service mission later this year or early next year. 
to review its arrangements for protecting nuclear and other radioactive material. This will be a good opportunity for Japan、uh, to further strengthen its nuclear security. Next week, I will re、uh, represent the IAEA at a nuclear security summit in The Hague, attended by leaders from around 50 countries. When I last spoke to you, I said that I was keen to make people more aware that the IAEA is much more than the world's nuclear watchdog. That remains a priority for me as I start my second term. Through the IAEA Technical Cooperation Program, we help to make nuclear technology available to developing countries for peaceful purposes. Quite often, nuclear is perceived as dangerous, expensive, and huge. But in reality,、uh, t h e r e are affordable, user friendly, very useful technologies for peaceful purposes. We are active in, in areas as diverse as cancer control in developing countries. I have an enthusiasm in talking about it, so if you have questions, I come back to this issue. Child nutrition, the eradication of the set of flies, boosting food production, and controlling. Oh, water pollution. Water is very、uh, closely related to、uh, climate change and environment. So, isotopic technology has an important role to play in this area. Today, cancer control as one example. Cancer has reached epidemic proportion in developing countries, but many lack the basic equipment and trained personnel for treating the disease effectively. This means that Thousands of people die of conditions that could be treated if they lived in a developed country. This is a great tragedy. Two thirds of cancer deaths occur in developing countries. Two thirds of cancer patients in developing countries come to a clinic too late, so life saving treatment is not possible in these countries. The IAEA, together with、um, partners such as、uh, the World Health Organization, helps to make radiotherapy. Medical physics, nuclear medicine, and imaging services available to developing countries. We provide training for medical and technical specialists and help them to gain access to modern technology. Another example c e t i f l y infect, infect、uh, vast areas of Africa. They transmit、uh, parasitic diseases uh, which, uh, which、um, devastate livestock herds. And spreads sleeping sickness among human beings. The IAEA deploys what is known as the sterile insect technology, which is essentially an、uh, insect birth control. Male flies are sterilized using radiation. They are then released、uh, into affected areas where they mate with a wild female. They do not produce offspring. This technique I can eventually. Eradicate entire populations of tsetse flies as happened in Zimbabwe,、uh, Zanzibar in 1999. There are just a few of the ways in which the IAEA helps to improve health and prosperity in developing countries and contributes to the achievement of the UN Millennium Development Goals. Science and technology is playing a more and more important role in development. But that is not properly recognized. In the post millennium development goals, I would like to see、uh, that science and technology, including nuclear technology, will be widely used. And I'm going to talk to Secretary General、uh, Ban Ki moon in May. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the core functions of the IAEA is, of, of course, to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. We do this by verifying. That countries are using nuclear material only for peaceful purposes. The main verif verification issue on our agenda is recent, in recent years has been Iran. For years, my quarterly reports to our Board of Governors stated that nuclear material declared by Iran was not being diverted from peaceful purposes, but I also stated that. Iran was not providing sufficient cooperation to enable the agency to conclude that all nuclear material in Iran was in peaceful activities. Late last year, we started to see some movement. In November, 
China, France, Germany, Russia, Britain, and the United States agreed on the joint plan of action with Iran. The plan is aimed at achieving a mutually agreed long-term comprehensive solution that would ensure Iran's nuclear program will be exclusively peaceful. The seven countries asked the IAEA to undertake monitoring and verification of voluntary measures to be implemented by Iran, which we are now doing with the approval of our board. Separately, the IAEA agreed on a framework for cooperation with Iran, under which Iran agreed to implement six practical measures within three months. Iran implemented them as planned. Last month, the agency and Iran agreed on the next seven practical measures, which are to be implemented by May 15th. As I told our board a few weeks ago, the measures implemented by Iran and the further commitments it has undertaken represent a positive step forward, but much remains to be done to resolve all outstanding issues. In particular, clarification of all issues related to possible military dimensions and implementation by Iran of its additional protocol are essential for the agency to resolve all outstanding issues related to Iran's nuclear activities. There has, there has regulatory been, been no movement on the non-proliferation issue of more immediate relevance to this part of the world, North Korea. It will be five years next month since agency inspectors were asked to leave North Korea. Nevertheless, the agency maintains its readiness to play an essential role in verifying the DPLK's nuclear program. I continue to call upon the DPLK to comply fully with its obligations and to cooperate fully with the agency. Ladies and gentlemen, the founding fathers of the IAEA clearly defined the objective of the IAEA, which is atoms for peace. Our work in, on Iran and North Korea is an example of our efforts to contribute to international peace and security. We have also been contributing to the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals by making peaceful uh, nuclear technology available to developing countries. The IAEA delivers concrete results and our work is valued by our member states. We will continue to pursue our multifaceted objectives in a balanced manner in the coming years. I'll stop here and we'll be happy to take your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's open the floor to questions. Um, please identify yourself and your affiliation uh, and one question per person. My name is Hiro Krishta, and I'm with Kokumin Shimbun, founded by Tokutomi Sofo in 1890. Uh, this is my third time to ask you questions. And my question is, um, according to IAEA standard, is it right to release contaminated water that we keep in the tanks now to uh, ocean? Because I have met a lot of uh, scientists, not, not Japanese, J Japanese and also uh, other countries. And I learned that um, the dose rate of the contaminated water is so low, and there is no harm even if we release the, you know, the com contaminated water to the uh, ocean. So my understanding is, is it really true from you know, IA standard? Thank you. Generally, it is true. The, uh, it is uh, the practice of um, uh, the international community, countries, uh, to release uh, the contaminated water after carefully treating it. And each country establishes uh, its um, uh, standard uh, to uh, allow such a release. However, it is um, essential 
uh, to talk uh, to the stakeholders like uh, the local community and um, um, uh, fishermen. It is not a viable option uh, to um, store uh, the, uh, the contaminated water without limit on the ground. It can even pose some dangers. This is not a long-term solution. So in order to avoid uh, the, uh, the potential difficulties, we recommend Japan to consider the option to release uh, the water after treating it properly, ensuring that it uh, satisfies uh, the Japanese standard, and um, uh, after consulting with uh, the stakeholders, uh, like the local community. Yes, it is true, and um, uh, that is a uh, part of the recommendation of uh, peer review missions uh, that we sent last year. For example, freelancer from Germany, you said 100% um, safety is not possible. But I think that, uh, there are not so some differences between uh, country between uh, like Japan with a lot of major earthquakes, and other countries like uh, in Europe, uh, they don't have major earthquakes, and because in, in Japan it's not not really possible to predict earthquakes. Nobody, nobody knew about, thought about an, a nine magnitude earthquake in uh, Tohoku, and nobody predicted an earthquake in in uh, Kobe. So, how is it possible for, for Japan to have nuclear power with this kind of uh, dangerous, with this kind of dangerous earthquake? There is some, uh, no concept in the IAEA that some countries uh, can have nuclear power, but other countries cannot because of earthquake or because of other reasons. What is needed is to take uh, the necessary measures. Um, um, uh, just for example, you said uh, there is uh, no earthquake, uh, uh, no serious earthquake in uh, Europe. I studied in France, uh, south of France, and I saw lots of um, small villages completely collapsed uh, because of uh, earthquake. Could be hundreds of years ago, 1,000 uh, years ago. I mean, um, uh, any uh, uh, any uh, uh, natural disaster can happen any part of the world. So uh, the problem uh, is uh, to uh, properly uh, assess other uh, dangers and establish other uh, uh, prevention measures. It is true uh, that uh, there's no 100% um, uh, safety in the world. In the real world, there's no 100%, no 0%. Uh, what we can do uh, is to prevent uh, the accident as humanly as possible and um, uh, get prepared uh, for, or, uh, uh, for the, of the mitigation of uh, the consequences. And some, uh, uh, the IAEA establishes our standards uh, uh, lessons are being learned, and our uh, safety uh, uh, is strengthened. But uh, uh, what is important is uh, that our safety uh, is an uh, evolving uh, process. We need to improve uh, the safety continuously without um, uh, in avoiding uh, falling into the, uh, the complacency and to um, uh, learn lessons uh, from others. My name is Kyoko Hasekawa. I'm with AFP. Uh, my question is about uh, the Japanese uh, regulatory body's uh, uh, current uh, assessment of uh, whether to uh, restart nuclear plants in Japan or not. Uh, recently, the NR Nuclear uh, Regulatory Commission prioritized the Sendai uh, nuclear plant in Kyushu, and uh, rep it, it's rep uh, Japanese media reports that uh, uh, the the plant's gonna restart as early as this summer, and but uh, lots of uh, experts criticize the government's uh, preparation work for resumption. For example, um, uh, Mr. Hatamura, uh, who was the head of the uh, government panel uh, committee on the nuclear accident, said uh, recently 
uh, that there is uh, uh, the, the, jet, the government's plan is not based on the premise that uh, an accident can happen. And lots of reports say there's no uh, evacuation plans for no, the evacuation plans are not sufficient. So I, my, my sorry, sorry about this long question. Mm. My question is, is that question? What, yeah, <laughs> yeah, about your evaluation about the Japanese government's uh, preparation for, uh, for a restart. The IAEA um, uh, does not say who in Japan is right and who in Japan is wrong. Uh, what we are saying is that uh, the regulatory body uh, should be robust independent and well-funded. Before Fukushima accident, the, uh, we have uh, the, uh, the view uh, that uh, the Japanese regulatory authority was not sufficiently independent uh, from uh, the promotion side. After uh, the Fukushima Daiichi accident, the, um, uh, there was a reform on some uh, robust, more robust, independent regulatory body was established covering nuclear safety, nuclear security, and um, um, uh, safeguards. Whether uh, this um, uh, regulatory body is perfect or not is another question. And uh, for that purpose, uh, the Japanese authority, regulatory authority, has invited the IAEA's uh, review mission on their own activities and we are now preparing it. Uh, whether uh, the uh, Japanese regulatory authority is functioning properly or not is a matter uh, that needs uh, to be evaluated in the future. The, um, uh, another thing which is very important is that this robust independent regulatory body uh, is recommended to use the IAEA standards. This is not uh, the obligation, it is not <coughs> legally binding, but many countries in the world are using uh, the latest IAEA safety standards. And um, um, uh, the current regulatory body incorporates uh, the uh, recommendations of uh, IAEA uh, and IAEA, latest IAEA standards. It is uh, the, um, uh, up to uh, the decision uh, by uh, the regulatory body uh, to decide whether uh, uh, the nuclear power plant in Japan is uh, safe or not. It is uh, the decision of the Japanese government to decide whether uh, to resume the operation or not. And the role of the IAEA is to help them to do the proper job. Jimbo. <coughs> Thank you. I'm Teddy Jimbo with TheVideoNews.com. Uh, that's actually exactly the question I was going to ask you. Uh, Prime Minister Abe says Japan's uh, nuclear safety standards are the safest or toughest in the world. First of all, do you agree with it? And then in, uh, in particular, you mentioned the IAEA standards. Uh, my question is this. Does Japanese, existing Japanese safety, nuclear safety standard satisfies in your view or in the view of IAEA the IAEA's defense in depth notion of nuclear safety, especially on the fifth layer, which calls for the formulation of an evacuation plan, Japan, Japanese nuclear safety standards does not uh, require the formulation of a safety uh, evacuation um, plan in case of severe accident. So does it, does it satisfy uh, IAEA standards or not? Thank you. Broadly speaking, and the um, Japanese uh, standards are in line with uh, the IAEA standards. In some areas, uh, the, uh, uh, the Japanese uh, new standard uh, is uh, uh, quite strict, like um, uh, the uh, assessment of uh, um, uh, earthquake. However, it is not um, uh, the role of the IAEA to rank uh, the, uh, the standards. Uh, which country is number one, which countries are number two. That is not uh, what we are doing. Uh, what we are requesting uh, is to establish uh, the IAEA standards and recommend uh, the, uh, the governments uh, to use it as uh, their stand, uh, uh, in establishing their standards. And if they request, 
uh, we send uh, peer review missions uh, to uh, examine uh, which are uh, the strong points of uh, each country's uh, uh, safety regulation, which are the areas uh, for further improvement. And this is some um, other uh, work uh, which is uh, being prepared now. Uh, uh, um, what I can say today is, uh, broadly speaking, uh, Japanese uh, uh, standards are in line with uh, the IAEA. Japan has requested us, uh, the IAEA, to review uh, uh, their standards and their um, uh, operation, and uh, that will be done in the near future. So, I'm, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if the, your answer was yes or no. Broadly speaking, means there are some holes in the Japanese safety standards uh, that needs to be uh, corrected, or what, is, <coughs> what do you mean by broad, broadly standing? Is that yes or no? Safety is a very complicated issue. Um, um, uh, uh, we have uh, the safety standards, uh, we have the safety uh, basics, safety requirements, uh, and uh, this is a huge pile of uh, documents. And uh, this is the, uh, the, uh, the area of um, uh, experts. So, um, uh, 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 it, is, um, uh, it is not uh, for me and now uh, to uh, provide uh, the answer now. But uh, what I can say is the uh, uh, Japanese standard is um, uh, broadly in line with uh, the IAEA standard. And in some areas, uh, that is um, uh, the strictest or uh, severest in the world. And um, um, uh, for the more precise, detailed uh, evaluation, it will be done uh, in the near future upon the request of Japanese government, Japanese regulatory mission. Commission. Just one more follow-up, yeah, Jim. I, I broadly understand your position. Thank you. Uh, Judith Stalpers, Elsevier Magazine, Netherlands, located in Amsterdam. At the beginning of your speech, you said um, human and organizational matters also played an important role in the Fukushima Daiichi uh, accident. You also just said um, the IEA, IEAE's function is uh, uh, to regulate or to be a regulatory body is not IEA is not IEA is not the global regulatory body no but you're no. but you're if i uh, understood you correctly you uh, look uh, whether the regulatory bodies in a specific country are robust independent and well funded so my question is before the fukushima daiichi uh, accident did the IAEA warn the japanese and as uh, a regulatory body, the pre-Fukushima body, that they are not robust, independent, and maybe it was well-founded, we don't know. That is one thing. Then the other thing is, uh, yesterday there was a very revealing uh, NHK uh, documentary where they tried to reconstruct how the meltdowns um, happened in the three uh, reactors. A lot of uh, radioactive release has been uh, detected, which TEPCO knew from the moment it happened. And also the IAEA around these first few weeks uh, had a mitigating stance toward uh, the radi uh, radiological impact uh, for, uh, in Japan. Maybe not on the campus of the Fukushima Daiichi. So my second question is, the one was the regulatory thing. The other one, is there a kind, who is assessing your body that you are um, robust, independent, well-funded, and that you, are, uh, that you are, well, there must be also a kind of mistake. We don't have many, radio, uh, many accidents. Can Luckily. we get to the question? Yeah, please? so the question is who assesses your body, so to speak? There were uh, mistakes being made also at the IAEA after the accident. The member states of IAEA uh, assesses some, um, uh, my function. And if uh, they find insufficient, I am fired. I'm not here. <laughs> and some, uh, you have some, a couple of questions. Did IAEA warn uh, Japan before Fukushima Daiichi accident? In um, a very diplomatic language, uh, we did. 
uh, uh, we said uh, that uh, more independence of regulatory body is needed. Uh, you may recall uh, that before Fukushima Daiichi accident, Japanese uh, regulatory body uh, was under um, uh, the authority of um, Ministry of um, uh, Economy uh, and Industry. And, um, um, and that is not in line with uh, the IAEA principle. Uh, promotion side and regulation side should be separated and independent. And that is what was achieved after the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Uh, this is one example. And I said uh, that uh, there were uh, some uh, human errors. And um, uh, one of them is that a regulatory body uh, was not sufficiently uh, independent. And an um, um, uh, easy example is that um, a tsunami wall uh, was not uh, sufficiently high. And um, uh, 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 plans uh, for response uh, was not uh, was not efficient. So there were human errors, but also it is uh, clear uh, that uh, tsunami triggered uh, this huge accident uh, after uh, the uh, huge earthquake. And um, uh, how uh, no, um, uh, for the uh, meltdown, uh, whether IAEA knew um, uh, or whether uh, we tried to mitigate, um, uh, mi whether we took the mitigating stance, that is uh, the contrary. Um, uh, the IAEA uh, was um, uh, the first uh, to detect uh, the high level of contamination. I remember uh, that I came to Japan on the 18th of um, uh, March and I accompanied uh, the experts uh, to measure uh, the, uh, the level of radiation. Uh, we started from, uh, the experts started from Tokyo, moved uh, on to uh, Fukushima, and um, uh, near uh, the Idate um, uh, village, we detected a high level of um, uh, uh, contamination. Uh, uh, but uh, in order to be sure, uh, we uh, measured, uh, the, uh, the, uh, we did the measurement together with the Japanese uh, authority, and uh, we reached almost the same, uh, same uh, um, result and uh, we published it immediately, made it public immediately. At that time, it did not draw enough attention, uh, but uh, uh, we have detected high level of um, uh, contamination. Uh, we informed the Japanese side. We did uh, the, uh, the measurement again uh, at the same place uh, on the following day, and after being confirmed, I uh, also had to, uh, to uh, make it public. So uh, it is not true. Uh, that uh, we uh, try to, uh, to, we have taken mitigating stance. Uh, we uh, shared all the information that we had um, uh, with some other member states. So can I just quickly follow up? When you um, communicated with the Japanese government about your concerns over the independence of the pre Fukushima regulator, what was the response from, from the Japanese government? Um, and that was uh, before um, I became the Director General. Um, um, it was um, um, uh, the recommendation, part of the recommendation of the IRLS mission uh, that we sent before. And um, uh, the response of, uh, from the Japanese uh, government uh, was some, um, I don't remember the exact uh, terminology, uh, but um, uh, the Japanese regulatory authority is um, uh, um, substantially um, um, independent or uh, uh, enjoys a de facto independence. Um, and it was true, uh, too. Um, uh, but was it sufficiently uh, independent? I have a question, and uh, we had a question. Uh, so after the Fukushima Daiichi accident, we um, um, we recommended uh, to the Japanese um, uh, government uh, to establish uh, independent, robust uh, regulatory authority, which was um, uh, achieved later. Peter. Uh, Langan of Bloomberg News. I'm going to, sorry, the same issue. I still don't understand it. I mean, I assume that the IAEA is not anti-nuclear, right? It's a pro-nuclear organization that promotes nuclear power around the world. You say you're not a regulator, but you do set safety standards. So aren't you then in the same sort of position as NISA, that you're conflicted? You're a promoter of nuclear power, but you're also saying this is how they should be run, these are the safety standards, etc. I mean, if that's the case, then your, or your organization has failed. That's my question. Thank you. 
Then, um, if you take another example, uh, the answer could be uh, quite uh, clear. Uh, whichever country is fine, uh, but um, um, country X has some uh, promotion um, um, uh, uh, an entity that promotes nuclear power, uh, nuclear uh, energy agency, for example. Uh, the, gov uh, the government has also a regulatory body uh, in the government. Does it mean uh, that a regulatory body in country X um, uh, is defined to fail? I don't think so. The international community has agreed to establish the IAEA, which has both a promotion side and a regulatory side. And if a government has both a promotion side and regulatory side, it not, does not mean to fail. Agency is not, it should not mean the same. It should, it should not mean that real, regulatory body fails uh, in the agency. Uh, let me be clear. The IAEA's role is not uh, the global regulatory body. And, um, nuclear safety and security should be ensured by each sovereign state. What we can do, what we are expected to do, is to help uh, the countries uh, to ensure uh, the highest levels of, regu uh, of safety by providing standards, by uh, providing expert missions, and by providing train, uh, training. And um, uh, what uh, 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 we call independence means, promotion side and um, a regulatory side uh, should not be um, um, uh, uh, together, should be separate. Uh, we have a different department for nuclear safety and security and uh, nuclear energy. I said IAEA um, um, uh, does not attempt uh, to influence uh, the decision by member states whether or not to use nuclear power because uh, there are various countries as member states. Some countries have, dec has, uh, have decided uh, to phase out uh, from uh, nuclear, uh, Germany, Austria, and many other countries. That is uh, their option and uh, we don't say anything to them. There are also uh, some uh, 30 countries uh, that are using nuclear power, and there are 60 con more countries that are uh, considering to embark on nuclear power. Uh, we don't tell them they should do that, but uh, uh, if they decide uh, to do so, uh, it is at uh, the interest of the international community that they do it safely, securely, and without um, posing uh, the proliferation risk. Uh, hello, Joël Legendre from RTL France Broadcasting. Maybe you remember that recently Japan and US have the confrontation about the issue of 331, um, what is it, kilo or ton, sorry? Ton, ton. Kilo. Kilo, kilo of plutonium, excuse me. Uh, San Piaco, San Richie, kilo, it is still. Um, it has been resolved, well, as Japan is going to announce probably at The Hague that they have uh, accepted the U.S. Uh, position and that. Nevertheless, I was wondering, um, you can do about 40 or 50 nuclear heads with this amount of, uh, of plutonium. What do you think Japan is up to with the acquisition of such plutonium? They want to do research, but what exactly is uh, the ultimate target, do you think? And, and uh, as a follow-up of the uh, issue that we have mentioned today, if you allow me to ask you, what exactly you as IAEA um, tell the WHO regarding people who say, you know, we think these people might have cancer because of the radiation. How many cases of death have you recognized about nuclear radiation since the industry exists? You understand? First question uh, is about um, uh, some 330 kilo of uh, plutonium to be returned to the United States. And um, um, you have also asked questions about uh, the plutonium uh, uh, possessed by Japan. And uh, when we discuss uh, this, uh, these uh, issues, we have to address uh, from uh, three angles. One is a safeguard. Um, uh, another is a nuclear security. And a third is our transparency. Uh, for the first point, uh, nuclear uh, uh, safeguard. This means um, um, 
are they under the IAEA safeguards, and can we say uh, that they are in peaceful uh, purpose? For this, uh, we can say yes. Uh, all the materials, including uh, uh, this, uh, some 330 kilo of plutonium, plutonium, is placed under the IAEA safeguards. Japan is a non-nuclear weapon state and has a comprehensive safeguard agreement. Uh, Japan has to declare all the nuclear material uh, to the IAEA, and IAEA sends inspectors. Uh, in many places, um, 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 permanent uh, uh, cameras are uh, installed, and uh, they send data uh, to the um, uh, IAEA. Um, so for uh, the, um, um, uh, the nuclear material, um, for the uh, peaceful nature of uh, the uh, nuclear uh, material in Japan, we can assure uh, that all of the material in Japan uh, stays in peaceful uh, purposes. Uh, Japan has, um, um, uh, has accepted a scheme called additional protocol, and uh, when we have doubts, we can send inspectors with a short notice. Safeguard, we don't have a problem. Security. Security is like nuclear safety, is uh, the responsibility of, uh, the, uh, of each state. And um, uh, we provide guidance, we provide training, uh, we provide uh, detection equipment if necessary. Uh, but, um, uh, Japan is uh, taking uh, appropriate measures in accordance with uh, the IAEA guidance. And uh, Japan has requested uh, to send IAEA peer review missions uh, to um, um, uh, to assess uh, the, uh, the nuclear security measures. Uh, uh, that will be done in the future, uh, in the near future, and uh, uh, we'll uh, learn the good practice, and if uh, uh, there are rooms for improvement, we'll make recommendation. A third uh, is uh, the, uh, the transparency, including the future use of this material. Uh, now that is uh, the matter uh, uh, to be addressed by the Japanese government. I cannot tell on behalf of the Japanese government for what purpose uh, Japan uh, will use uh, this material. Uh, it, is, um, uh, the, it is up to uh, the Japanese government uh, how to use it for peaceful purpose, I say, uh, and um, uh, explain it um, on, uh, to other countries. A uh, second question: um, How many? Uh, how many uh, um, uh, deaths um, uh, cancer caused? Uh, I don't have the statistic, uh, but uh, the, uh, uh, the basic rule or study is um, uh, made by uh, the UN body called ANSCARE. and um, uh, it says uh, that uh, if um, uh, and um, uh, the uh, ANSCARE establishes uh, the basic rule, uh, and um, IAEA, WHO, and other organizations uh, applied based on the uh, standards of, uh, based on the studies of ANSCARE. Um, the uh, cancer deaths, uh, there are uh, very, uh, um, uh, various, um, uh, various um, um, uh, studies, and um, uh, we are following it. Uh, the, uh, some reports after um, uh, Fukushima Daiichi accident uh, says uh, uh, that exposure um, 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 uh, is minimal, uh, and others say there may be some um, um, uh, some impact, uh, but uh, there is not yet um, um, a diversion or uh, 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 there is not a, a consensus yet. We are following it. Behind you, sorry. Yes. Um, I'm Marie Wata from the Wall Street Journal. Um, going back to the contaminated water, your mission last December um, suggested Japan consider options including dumping uh, lightly contaminated water in a controlled manner. And I wonder, is there any other options? I didn't say dumping, release, controlled release. And um, um, uh, there are other options, uh, like um, um, 
evaporating it, uh, and um, uh, it it is released into the atmosphere, for example. Uh, but um, uh, the common practice uh, in the world uh, is uh, to uh, treat uh, the contaminated water as much as possible, and um, um, when uh, the national regulatory authority um, uh, ensures uh, that it is below uh, the uh, level, uh, they authorize uh, the release uh, into uh, the environment. And uh, we have to consider uh, the uh, dangers if we do not do that. Um, I'm sorry, follow-up question. Uh, like what? Like danger? What kind of danger? Um, we can easily foresee the dangers uh, that um, um, a huge amount of water uh, is uh, stored on the ground. The land is not um, uh, limitless, and um, uh, lots of labor, money, time uh, should be used to uh, take care of uh, the uh, already uh, treated water, uh, but uh, 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 the, uh, the limited uh, uh, financial and um, uh, human uh, resource. Um, um, uh, could be used uh, to uh, to address uh, the the uh, real dangers uh, that is contaminated water. Uh, we, we may have contaminated water, and we'll have a huge amount of uh, of um, uh, treated water, uh, and then in, uh, it will it will be an option to release uh, the uh, the uh, treated water in a uh, in a controlled way manner. Uh, to concentrate on, on the, on the uh, higher risks. I say um, it is um, Japan who has to decide. This is the, the, uh, the practice, international practice. And uh, after um, 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 uh, consulting closely with uh, stakeholders, um, we think it would be an option to uh, 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 undertake uh, the controlled release of treated water uh, into, uh, the, uh, into the sea. Daniel Leusink, Het Financiële Dagblad, the financial newspaper from Holland. I've been based in Japan since 2007. Um, Mr. Amano, how realistic is it that the reactors of the tsunami hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that melted down will be successfully decommissioned within the time frame of 30 or 40 years? Broadly speaking, do you think this time frame is realistic or do you think it's overly positive? I don't know yet. Um, the, um, dealing with um, uh, the melted core is very difficult. Uh, and the um, uh, tape core has um, uh, not yet been successful in having access uh, to the core. That is the same um, uh, for uh, uh, three miles um, uh, reactor uh, for some 10 years. And um, uh, it is not possible to uh, have access uh, to the core in Chernobyl. So uh, uh, having good understanding of the core takes lots of time. And um, uh, uh, the uh, international community uh, has not yet sufficient, perhaps, uh, experience in dealing with uh, such uh, core. We don't know yet how is the, the core yet. And uh, we cannot say definitely that we have all the uh, technologies. Uh, therefore, what is very important and what is I am recommending uh, to the Japanese government is uh, to do it with international cooperation. It is wrong uh, to believe uh, that the Japanese has all the technologies. It may be um, uh, not the case uh, that uh, international organization, uh, uh, companies, uh, other, can, other um, uh, entities have enough um, um, uh, experience, uh, but it is much better to address this issue of decommissioning, including the core, with uh, the international cooperation involving Japanese companies and foreign companies. And um, uh, uh, it will take time, of course, and um, um, uh, both on the Japanese companies and um, non-Japanese companies can learn lots of experience in dealing with this very difficult situation. I said uh, that last year, 437 uh, nuclear power plants are, uh, were in operation. Uh, but uh, sooner or later, uh, these reactors need to be decommissioned. If uh, the international community uh, has some, um, uh, have, uh, acquire knowledge in decommissioning, 
uh, in dealing with uh, the most difficult case, that will be helpful uh, for the future to safely decommissioning the normal or even um, uh, reactors in trouble. Larry? Do you have um, a little bit extra time, by any chance? We're nearly at time. Nearly Next out. time. How much more time? Suzuki-san, it's about how many minutes? Three. Three? Then 45 minutes, right? Up to um, um, 145. OK, great. Hello, I'm, I'm Mari Saito from Reuters. Uh, I've been following, uh, <clears throat> last year, a majority of our coverage was on Fukushima workers, uh, men who are inside the plant day in and day out working to decommission the plant. What we heard uh, from the workers themselves was that they were getting skimmed pay, uh, that they were not getting uh, health checkups that they were promised. Uh, and that their living standards were substandard. <clears throat> so first of all, I've sought comment from IAEA officially, and I have not gotten a comment yet. So today, Ms. Amano, I wanted you to comment on some of these issues with working conditions inside the Fukushima plant, which has been raised over and over again. And then second of all, I wanted to ask you about how concerned you are about the long-term worker shortage. Uh, when you have uh, workers getting uh, you know, paid less than minimum wage in some aspects to go into highly radiated, highly radiated environments. You're not building an environment where uh, there are a lot of incentives for these workers to continue coming back. So, thank you. Regarding the question of um, uh, the working condition of um, uh, the uh, Fukushima workers, uh, you said that you have you haven't got the answer from IAEA stuff. And I'm one of the IEA staff, and I don't have the answer uh, for that. Um, uh, it's some um, um, the uh, IAEA is a, a, a technical um, uh, provide technical assistance, uh, but as I repeated, uh, repeatedly said, uh, it is some uh, the responsibility of uh, the Japanese government and um, uh, the, uh, in this case, uh, TEPCO, uh, to ensure uh, the necessary environment uh, for, the, uh, for ensuring uh, the safety. Uh, for the shortage of uh, workers, it is not only limited uh, to uh, the, uh, uh, the um, uh, Fukushima workers, uh, but um, uh, it is a global uh, phenomenon uh, that uh, workers trained workers uh, working in nuclear power plants are in shortage. Uh, we need uh, to, uh, uh, to train people. Uh, we need uh, to inform our workers um, on the dangers and uh, risks uh, of our safety. And uh, proper uh, protection uh, should be, uh, should be uh, ensured. Um, um, and um, uh, we, our responsibility is to uh, provide assistance. Uh, like establishing uh, the safety regulation. Uh, the responsibility of uh, the government uh, is uh, to establish under its own responsibility uh, the safety standards and um, um, uh, ensure its implementation. Gentlemen here, then you. Patrick Tolnoy, Tsushi Titan from Switzerland. I talked to some marine, marine biologists a few days ago, and they told me that in their samples they see a change in the mix of radionuclides. They're saying proportion is more and more strontium, um, not just cesium. Now, the food um, checking here is purely on cesium, under the assumption there's very little else. But are the Japanese authorities actually measuring the right thing, if they're only focusing on cesium, or are we getting in our food uh, strontium, I don't know what else, uh, which is simply not measured. Sorry, I don't have um, the exact answer now. Uh, my uh, recollection is that uh, they are uh, monitoring strontium, uh, but um, uh, the monitoring, C monitoring, is done by various um, uh, agencies uh, in Japan. And uh, I do not know, I cannot uh, give the exact answer uh, whether uh, uh, Japanese uh, government or Japanese um, uh, agencies are monitoring strontium. And if uh, they do, um, uh, 
in which deep and depth and um, um, uh, width. Uh, uh, I do not want to mis uh, mislead you. Um, uh, sorry, I don't have uh, the exact answer for now. What would you recommend doing? The, um, uh, we are uh, recommending um, uh, the, the Japanese authority uh, to follow uh, the, uh, the um, standard set by uh, the IAEA, and uh, we, um, in order to compare uh, the uh, samples, uh, we recommend uh, to uh, take the water at surface water or a certain depth and um, uh, and uh, deeper um, uh, uh, deeper um, uh, water, um, and uh, we have uh, the uh, Monaco laboratory uh, that has um, a good uh, experience. Uh, we have sent. Uh, the um, uh, mission upon the request uh, by the Japanese government uh, in October uh, last year. Uh, we have sent uh, the experts, uh, two experts uh, from um, uh, Monaco uh, Marine Laboratory uh, to uh, examine if uh, the method used by the Japanese um, uh, uh, authority is uh, in accordance with uh, the international standard. And we confirmed uh, that uh, the Japanese authorities are monitoring uh, the seawater in accordance with uh, the uh, international uh, international standard. Uh, but um, uh, to be honest, I do not um, uh, know um, uh, exact uh, um, facts about this uh, strontium monitoring for now. Sorry, I'm being asked to follow up a question. Um, can you can you give us any estimate at all on the amount of people who've died as a result of nuclear contamination uh, since the industry started? You, you seem to suggest there were studies, but are you able to give us any figure at all or any rough figure? I know none. Uh, um, uh, and direct, direct um, uh, by the direct impact of uh, uh, Fukushima Daiichi accident. Um, at this time, uh, there were a number uh, two. I remember two um, uh, in case of Tokai accident <coughs> in Japan. Uh, 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 there were um, I think it was some three, tens of um, uh, death uh, uh, in uh, uh, case of Chernobyl. Um, uh, they are the firefighters um, uh, and the others, and um, uh, there were some uh, uh, death uh, some 100 years ago among the researchers. At that time, people did not know uh, the harm, uh, uh, but um, uh, the number of deaths uh, by um, uh, 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 by um, uh, radiation is uh, quite limited. Um, uh, if you if you compare uh, the uh, death uh, by PM 2.5, uh, I mean premature death uh, by uh, PM um, uh, 2.5 is millions, according to the um, uh, the uh, WHO uh, statistics. Uh, thank you very much, Amano-san, for giving us extra time. It's, it's kind of you. I know you're busy. I'm Peter Fuchs of Tokyo Investment Research. Um, I can detect a note of uh, enthusiasm that you said uh, 72 new uh, reactors are currently under construction, many in Asia and in, in developing economies. They can help mitigate climate change. Uh, and you said, quote, they're affordable and user-friendly. Um, uh, 311 at uh, Fukushima Daiichi exposed the previously relatively un- uh, uh, undercovered issue of the uh, spent fuel rod uh, pools, uh, including the one in building number four, which we've had a number of presentations over the years here in the club, that it, generally speaking, while currently under control, remains probably one of the weaker links in the nuclear safety chain around uh, uh, power plants. Given the challenge of safely removing and then subsequently storing that technology is not also well understood anywhere in the world. Would you still, uh, question, uh, has the IAEA uh, changed its view about the safety standards needed for spent fuel rod pools in its recommendations to member states and other governments? Is it more dangerous now that you've seen the potential risks up there? Thank you. First, um, 
I sent um, uh, nuclear uh, technology some um, user friendly um, uh, or uh, very useful. But um, uh, I said it in the context of um, a peaceful application of nuclear technology. Um, uh, for example, what I have in mind is some um, uh, the detection kit for foot and mouth disease. Um, uh, for example, in Mongolia, uh, there was an outbreak of foot and mouth disease, and uh, bringing um, bringing uh, millions of cattle uh, to a clinic is not possible. Instead of that, uh, you have uh, this big box. And you can bring it, clinic can move uh, to the site, and you can detect uh, uh, the diseases very quickly. And um, uh, the detection kit of foot and mouth disease uh, is not dangerous, huge, expensive. It is very user friendly, and that can save um, um, millions of lives of uh, useful animals. Uh, that is uh, one type of um, nuclear technology that I mentioned. Um, and I did not have um, have um, a nuclear power, um, a power plant uh, inexpensive and user friendly. Uh, uh, that is a very complicated system. Um, uh, for uh, the fuel rod, um, uh, the um, uh, the revision of uh, IAEA standard uh, is um, being considered, uh, but uh, not yet finalized. Uh, but a focus of on the revision of the IAEA standard is um, uh, for uh, to get prepared for the severe accident, uh, the estimates of a tsunami, um, uh, earthquake, uh, flood. Um, uh, and uh, these things. Uh, for the uh, spent uh, fuel um, uh, dressing, we are very much interested in, in uh, the spent fuel, not only spent fuel, but nuclear waste. Uh, nuclear waste uh, is an issue um, uh, of every country that uses uh, nuclear power. Our view is that uh, for uh, the low and um, uh, medium level waste, um, uh, there is a way uh, to address it. It is all, uh, almost, it is already industrialized, uh, commercially operated. Uh, but uh, the uh, handling of spent fuel uh, and high level waste uh, is a difficult issue. I went to uh, Onkalo uh, uh, in Finland last year and um, uh, so all the, uh, the, uh, the project. It is uh, 400 meters underground. Uh, it is now um, um, uh, 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 requesting uh, the, up, uh, the issuance of um, uh, license. And if um, uh, it gets uh, the approval of license, uh, the site becomes operational in 2020. It means technically it is possible to deal with um, uh, the issue of spent fuel and high-level waste, uh, but uh, social acceptance, social and political acceptance is very difficult. Having that in mind, I have proposed uh, that IAEA host a scientific forum uh, on uh, waste uh, in September this year. Um, uh, waste. Uh, when uh, we discuss waste, you have in mind uh, spent fuel, but that is not the only uh, waste. Um, and the hospitals now use um, uh, cobalt. Uh, or uh, in the industry too, uh, cobalt or other uh, radioactive resources are very often used. In order to safely store and dispose of this, uh, on this, um, uh, this material, um, and the, uh, and the proper scientific knowledge is indispensable. Uh, that is, um, is one of the activities of agency to share the experience. I don't say, um, uh, um, I say this is a difficult issue. Um, uh, uh, in some areas, we have already solutions. In other areas, we have technical um, uh, uh, solutions, uh, but um, politically, socially, it is uh, uh, difficult. And um, uh, lots of research are doing um, uh, for the, uh, the spent fuel too. Uh, now, uh, it is um, uh, recommended, or uh, it is more common uh, to store it uh, in uh, dry storage, or uh, there are technologies uh, to reduce uh, the amount of waste uh, too. Uh, lots of uh, studies are now ongoing, and um, um, uh, we need to uh, be uh, um, um, uh, public uh, should be properly informed of this development. Probably have time for one more, maybe two questions. Um, I'll give this to you. Yes.
Nicholas Smith, CLSA. I just wanted to ask to what extent the technology exists for uh, building a plant, say, in her Fukushima um, area that would have withstood the, uh, the 9.0 it was hit by. I'm referring to things like uh, ground acceleration, the tsunami wall, um, the uh, position of the backup generators in the basement, uh, the technologies now for, uh, for passive cooling, and then uh, the problem with the, the plant that it didn't have space for taking a, a pressure build-up and therefore had an, an explosive release. I, I think a combination uh, of uh, various technology uh, would be uh, the answer. Um, and, um, um, I understand uh, that earthquake was not uh, the direct um, uh, cause of, um, of the accident, uh, but rather tsunami. And um, uh, uh, in many, uh, in many uh, uh, nuclear power plants, uh, the, um, uh, the height of the tsunami wall uh, has been increased. Uh, the positioning uh, position of emergency generator uh, 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 should be uh, better studied, and uh, mobile generator is also needed. I went to see uh, the uh, nuclear power plant in uh, Karini uh, in Russia, and uh, they um, uh, they uh, presented me how uh, they use uh, the uh, the uh, emergency uh, uh, diesel generator, and uh, it starts uh, like uh, a new car. Uh, uh, they are better uh, better prepared, and uh, uh, hook up at um, um, uh, uh, high place, uh, like, like, let's say 30, 40 meters, uh, is also in, uh, uh, installed uh, in um, a power plant uh, in South Africa. It is painted in red, and it is uh, some uh, tens of meters high. So you can immediately see uh, uh, when, in case of emergency, you can hook up um, uh, uh, the hose uh, to uh, inject water. Uh, uh, these are some of the examples um, uh, making uh, making uh, the uh, power plant more uh, resistant uh, to uh, earthquake is uh, uh, is um, uh, one of um, uh, the solutions. Uh, but um, um, uh, better study uh, the position of um, uh, of um, emergency generators, uh, better position uh, the hookup. Uh, uh, position uh, the emergency tools kits uh, near the operation room. Uh, there are various ways. Um, uh, I forgot to mention uh, the um, uh, power center. Um, uh, um, choose a good place uh, for the power center uh, is also needed. Uh, various uh, studies are, are being done and um, uh, lessons are learned. Uh, we have organized um, um, many uh, expert meetings and uh, the result of these uh, studies uh, will be comp incorporated into uh, the Fukushima um, uh, report uh, that IAEA is planning uh, to uh, distribute uh, next year. I hope uh, that uh, the uh, Fukushima accident was a very unfortunate one uh, for the uh, people in the region, um, um, uh, but uh, it should be a good occasion uh, for uh, the world uh, to learn lessons and uh, to make the world safer. Sorry, can I um, follow up and uh, go for a straight yes no? Doing uh, technologies exist today that would, um, would put a uh, plant in place that would uh, not have those problems. Are there safe, one, safe plants that can be put in that position? As I said, in technology, in any technology, 100, believing in 100 percent safety is wrong. Uh, we need to prevent the accident. Uh, we need uh, to make uh, the plant as um, uh, resistant as possible uh, for uh, the uh, possible accident. But we should um, uh, get ready uh, for um, our possible accident. And it, if it happens, we have to mitigate uh, the effect of the accident and make it as little as possible. By combining these measures, uh, we can uh, make uh, the nuclear power plants much safer. That is uh, the concept of defense in depth, and we are recommending uh, that concept. Zero does not exist in the real world, uh, but um, uh, we can make uh, the plant uh, as, um, um, as um, uh, safe as possible, as humanly possible. I think we've uh, run out of time, I'm afraid. Uh, Amana san has been very, very generous with his time. Uh, it remains for me to present him with a one-year honorary membership.
of the FCCJ. So please come back. Thank you very much. Uh, could I ask everyone to remain seated while Amal Hassan leads? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.